Welcome to the SD online classes. Today we are doing class 10 of MBSC chapter 3 physics. The name of the chapter is electricity. In your textbook it will be page number 67. Okay. Let us start. The term electricity is derived from a word amber. Amber means electron. Amber means electron. Electron you must be studying in chemistry also. I will not go into its detail but I will move to the physics part. Okay. Now there are two types. Body which is acquiring more electron, excess of electron and a body which is acquiring deficiency, less electrons. This type is this type of situation is called static charge. We have learned about these things in earlier classes also. Okay. Now in this particular class it is little more advanced form. Here we are trying to study the thing which is manifesting after the charges. Okay. This is electric current also. So that is the main part that we want to study to start with. <clears throat> so now what I will tell you here is that current electricity is the study of flow of charge. Okay. Current electricity is what? It is the study of where we study the flow of charge. The flow of charge is nothing but flow of electron. Okay. What you have to know is that flow of charge is nothing but flow of electron moving charges. Okay. So now whenever they move, they, we call that the electricity is there. Okay. So now Another thing is that whatever external thing which produces electric charge to flow through a conductor that is called electric field. Okay, that also we will discuss in proper topic. Right? First part will be electric charge. What is electric charge? The symbol for electric charge is Q. Sometimes capital Q can also be used small q also can be used okay okay so this is about electric charge electric charge is every atom be it a sodium potassium uh, hydrogen nitrogen whatever every atom consists of negative electron and positive proton you know this okay negative electron is revolving around positive proton is at the center so these are negative charges they are these names and negative electrons are called negative charges and the positive proton is called positive charge. There are other things also associated like the uh, an atom is always neutral because negative and positive charges are equal. So these are the details about them. Okay. Now, how to denote it? SI unit will be measuring it. SI unit of charges, charges, Coulomb. This is symbolized as capital C, right? Now, a small thing, what is, how much is a one coulomb? That is also important question. Sometimes it is asked also. One coulomb is 6.25 into 10 to power 18 electrons. Okay. A body is said to have one coulomb of charge if it has an excess or deficit of 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons. Okay, so about 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons if you get then we say it is 1 coulomb. 1 coulomb is pretty big for 1 electron. Okay, 1 electron is very less. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 is the charge in the 1 coulomb, 1 electron. Okay, so 1 coulomb is quite big for electrons to make. So this many electrons are required. This is a important to remember. Next is characteristics of the charge. What are the properties? What how they behave. So there are two properties, characteristics of charges, like charges. Suppose there are two positive, positive together, positive and positive, then they will repel, go away from each other. Just like magnet, you see, two magnets, same pole, you bring it together, they will make each other, each other go away. So that is like positive, positive charge also. For unlike charges, if you bring positive charge near to negative charge or negative charge near to positive charge, they will attract, try to touch each other. So that is the property, that is the behavior of charges. 
one one property very easy to understand the other one is also very simple it says they obey they follow obey means follow principle of conservation of energy that means automatically you cannot have new charges born or some charges destroyed that cannot happen a charge can go from one to the other place that is right but no charge can be destroyed and similarly no charge you can make by yourself okay so that is just like conservation of energy charges are neither created nor destroyed two things remember the first one is the positive positive ripple negative negative ripple positive negative attract okay second one is they cannot be created they cannot be destroyed also whatever they were earlier same amount they will remain but it can flow from one play one to the one body to the other okay if you connect one wire it will pass from one wire to the other wire okay next will be electric field okay this is the meaning of electric field electric field is something like that area only the region okay it is invisible remember there is an invisible place suppose you have one charge kept here then here all this area will be electric field area electric field is a region that area around this charge center is the charge around the charge body within which up to which suppose up to here i can feel the charge so that is its electric field after that i don't feel no electric field experienced a force of attraction or repulsion if this charge is positive another positive charge will experience the positive uh, the repulsion if that charge is positive another negative charge if i bring it will be attracted so that region within which it can be felt the electric experience felt that area is called electric field remember electric field is that region inside that cloud electric cloud where i can feel the electricity is present there okay if it is very near it will be very powerful if it is far less and less and less powerful and after some time you will not feel the electric field so it is easy to understand in that way fine next will be electric potential this is your electric field okay look at here it is that amount of work done electro electric potential is work done how much you need the work done in moving a unit pause unit means one very small one test charge from infinity infinity very very far to that point against to that point is means that point where i i am interested to measure the electric potential against the electrostatic force because the, at that particular point when i bring the charge i will be pushed away to not bring that charge so that force i have to overcome i have to win that so that is called electrostatic force against the electrostatic force or in another way in this way it is the work done in moving that charge in another another way it is the potential when i remember energy and work done have same unit okay that is why it can be defined in potential energy form also it is the potential energy of a unit positive charge at that point in a given electrostatic field okay so its symbol is v capital v already told to you now it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity scalar quantity because it is not direction dependent so electric potential v is electric potential v is potential energy divided by unit charge q okay this is the formula of here w can be your potential energy okay or work done also you can call so this is w by q joule per coulomb will be the si unit so si unit of v is joule why joule because work done or energy is joule charge is coulomb c okay so this is how we defined it and then you can also write the definition of the 1 joule how much is 1 joule you can uh, you can write how much is 1 volt so when you are writing 1 volt how much is this you can define using this formula okay let's try now look at here 1 volt can be defined from here 1 volt is how much whenever this is 1 this is 1 this will be one very easy when one joule one joule means this when one joule of work is done in bringing one this one one coulomb of charge from infinity to a given point in an electric field then the electric potential at that point is one volt 
meaning is in mathematically the meaning is when this is one this is one this will be one and writing the definition is this way okay this is how you define how much is one volt this is the way to define what is electric potential this one this is the unit of electric potential and this is the formula for electric potential now this is potential difference from the name itself difference means two two things are there vb minus va if there are two places where we want to know how much is the difference between their potential. The potential difference between the two points A and B, A and B, two places are there. Then how we will do is, it is the work done or energy, you remember work done and energy was same. It is the work done or energy required, okay, work done or energy required per unit charge, same formula, work done by charge minus another's work done by charge. In taking a charge from A to B, earlier it was infinity to that point, now from one point to the other point. That is the difference, okay? The concept is exactly the same. So, VB minus VA, why? Because potential difference. Work done by charge for this one. For this one, work done by charge and they are combined. Q and Q is LCM here. WB minus WA numerator and WB minus WA is denoted by W. So, this can be the formula for potential difference. As it is exactly same, so its SI unit is also volt. Okay, same volt. SI unit is SI unit is volt. Remember, symbol is V potential difference. SI unit is volt. Its another name is voltage. Later on, we'll study. Okay. Now there are other units also. Other units. Other units means other than SI unit also we can measure. This is millivolt. Millivolt is 10 to power minus 3 volt, meaning 1 by 100 volt. Okay. Bigger units are also there. Kilo volt. That means 10 to power 3 volt, means 1000 volt. Mega volt is also there. Okay. Mega volt. Mega volt is pretty high, 10 to power 6 volt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 volt. So these are the other units, big units of potential difference. Okay. Potential difference between any uh, ends of a resist resistor is called, is measured by your voltmeter. Okay. Potential difference is measured by volt meter the voltage why volt meter because it is the voltage so volt meter is used to measure it when we measure you have to connect it parallel what is parallel we will know later on conductor of the source of and the emf is also called it's another name and potential difference is is to be measured from any uh, given resistor by connecting it in the on the two ends of the resistor okay this is how we measure so this much is the potential difference idea thank you